Our story is one that we must continue sharing with communities around the world who have experienced senseless violence. Today marks 168 days until April 19th, 2020. Each day over the next 168 days, we will be looking back and thinking forward. Please join us in a moment of silence. I am fortunate to have been involved in the creation of our memorial. It helped me recover. Nothing like this had ever been done. There were no precedents. You really can't imagine what it's like being on the receiving end of the world's grace, the world's grace, until you're there. It's why the Oklahoma City National Memorial and Museum is not a place of sadness and grief. It's a place of profound hope. This is a time for teaching the next generation about April 19th. More than half the population of Oklahoma City either wasn't alive or didn't live here in 1995. Tomorrow night, November 5th, the memorial is partnering with the Thunder in a pregame ceremony by giving one personalized City Edition jersey to each of the 168 families. It's our way of honoring and thanking the families for entrusting us with their story and being the guardian of the story. The jerseys will be worn by the team at 10 home games including the first game in 2020 on January 9th. These monuments and these memorials don't celebrate fear. They celebrate hope. And your memorial here in this city telling your story is a vital element in the mechanics of American memory. Our museum is one of the top 10 museums in the country as ranked by TripAdvisor. Think about that, top 10 in the country and your financial support has earned us that top 10 ranking. We're trying to raise $14 million. Half of that will go into our endowment. We already have $18 million in a very solid endowment. Add to that seven, 25 million. It is also important for us to recognize the unsung heroes of our event. And that is the good people of Oklahoma City and their instinct to do the right thing at the right time without asking any questions about it. This is the point where we have choices to make as to what we take away from this experience today. Uh, for me, I accept the challenge to actually try and live the Oklahoma standard every day. If anyone wants to see the best of us, they should come to Oklahoma City. And once they're here, let them pause and remember. Remember what makes us good and what makes us strong and what makes us, us.